Hey everyone. So, this is gonna be a little bit of a different video. So I'm moving from Korea to Arizona where I'm going to be going to college and, you know, live out my adult life. So nerve-wracking. But, yeah, so that's gonna be happening in like a couple weeks. Holy shit, it's happening in a couple weeks. And I slowly started the packing kind of process just like figuring out which stuff I want to keep with me and move with me to Arizona and which stuff just to throw away here in Korea. And upon the packing sort of process, I have just kind of realized how many suits that I own and like have made just in within the last five years I've lived here. And all of them just kind of create this like memory, like just kind of bring back, all these suits just kind of bring back some memories that I've had here. And I've never really shown off some of these suits. I thought, hey, why not show off some of these suits to you guys? But before I do that, let me give you guys an update on exactly where my custom Spider-Man suit is going. So yeah. Because of the coronavirus, that little bitch, Aaron Alexandro hasn't been able to ship out the new screen print that he uh, is going to send me because there were problems with the stretch test on the first one he sent, so he canceled that one and then he's gonna send me a new one. He did uh, tell me that he was going to do that. Uh, I'm just an idiot and forgot. And because it's not gonna be able to get to me here, because I'm moving and it's the coronavirus. Uh, we're just waiting for all this coronavirus thing to settle and wait for me to move and uh, get all that sorted out and then he's gonna send it to me. So there's gonna be a hold on the custom Spider-Man suit, sadly. But yeah, I guess this, uh, se this series will just get extended a little bit more. And between though, and in between that, uh, I do have some stuff I will do. You know, I have my suit commission uh, for Insomniac Spider-Man. that I will kind of do a little overview video uh, for this channel um, when it's finished. Uh, it's almost, almost done. It's probably like 65% of the way there. I just need to sew everything together and like, you know, zippers and all that and like some Rami patterns, really complicated. Not as complicated as some of the other patterns out there, but still complicated. And also I'm thinking about doing a little series, just kind of uh, doing video essays on films and TV shows because uh, I'm going to be a filmmaker. It's what I want to do with my career. I've said this multiple times in, the, in this channel, but I haven't really shown it. Uh, but hopefully this will get you, just kind of let me stretch out my filmmaking prowess or knowledge and hopefully I'll get a bigger audience. But okay, now let's get to what I guess Spider-Man cosplayers call it, Peter's Closet. I think that's what it is. Yeah, Peter Parker's closet. So I'm going to be doing these suits in the order that I've made them, like in chronological order basically. And uh, this wouldn't be an accurate really representation, like not 100% accurate of like when I started cosplaying all that just because I've thrown some out because I haven't worn them in a while and I use them for scrap parts, uh, like my Miles Morales suit that you guys haven't really seen. Uh, but it's like one of my first dye sub suits that I did. Did that suit back, I think it was like 2014 for Halloween. My first dye sub suits, and before that, I did some Zentai like fabric suits that were absolutely terrible and you know that I puff painted and everything. Um, I haven't done any videos on that or anything, and I threw those away. And then, like, my Civil War suit, I have also thrown away because I used it for I used the uh, some parts of it for my actual homecoming suit. But yeah, for the first suit that I still own, it's actually from my first ever video on this channel, my, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man Symbiote Suit, patterned by Brandon Gilbert. Got it sewn by Zentai Zentai, and 100% puff painted this in two weeks. If you never puff painted anything, I've never, never puff painted a Spider-Man suit, you don't want to do it in two weeks, because that's like nothing. It's like no time at all when you're puff painting a suit in entirety. But here's the suit. My God. Wow, this thing still shines, surprisingly. So this thing's 100% puff painted. And yeah, it's nuts. It has a U-shaped zipper. You know, the mask is still attached. It was an idiot move of me. I don't know, I don't like attached masks. And yeah, this suit is just five years old, I think. Because I made this for Halloween 2015, but I didn't 
make a video on it up until 2016. Yeah, that was like my first ever video. Just make, just doing the suit, giving an overview. I should start doing more of those. <laughs> More often, but yeah, I made this when I was in the seventh. Was it the seventh grade? Was it the eighth grade? By then? Eighth grade. I made this in the eighth grade. Look at all this texturing that I did on it. 100% puff painted, and this was at the point where I was trying at least to do some customization on my suits, and I added white wrist zippers that just hot glued in. I don't know why, but I just tried that. Doesn't really work. <laughs> I don't recommend it unless you so you know how to sew and stuff, but at this point, I, I didn't know how to sew. The suit still turned out great, it looks great. But yeah, this just brings back a lot of memories, puff painting. This suit will not fit me, by the way. Like, this was when I was like 5'2", five, 5'3", five, so this suit will not fit me. I'm 5'8 now. Uh, okay, the next suit that I have is not complete. Uh, I have a couple suits that aren't complete, but I just kept around because, uh, memories, I don't know, and I've worked pretty hard on them, so it suck for me to um, just get rid of them. What? Oh, oh my god. So the next suit after I did the Tasm symbiote suit was the Tasm 1 Andrew Garfield suit. Look at this. This is also patterned by Brandon Gilbert, but the company that sewed it up was Zentai Zone. Much better in my opinion, Zentai Zone than Zentai Zentai. Just because that suit, anytime I would like bend down or spread too much, like the seams would rip like that. So I don't recommend Zentai Zentai. Zentai Zone's much better. But yeah, this suit was almost 100% puff painted. I was getting close to it. It's just a lot of, a lot more work. And I just kind of lost track of time because I was doing it throughout like periods of time. But I do have to say the front and the back look the most impressive. Look at that. Yeah, Brandon Gilbert did a great job at, uh, making the pattern on this because it looks like, you know, the Amazing Spider-Man, but it's like not the same pattern they used for it. Man, would you look at that? Again, this suit will not fit me. I'm, this is like 5'3 size and I'm like 5'8 now. But yeah, just look at that. That looks amazing if I were to put it on. Damn, look at that. Four years ago. So this suit will not fit or stretch anymore because the puff paint just kind of like solidified. But yeah, look, I didn't even get to finish the boots. I barely finished the gloves. And I didn't even get around to finishing the mask I have. So this is what it looks like without like any puff paint. This is what it looks like with puff paint. And it is kind of upsetting because I do love the Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, one movie, but yeah, just to not finish this suit and just kind of move on from it uh, was a good choice to me because if I was just constantly working on this, um, I don't think I would have liked it towards the end because I kind of got lazy. You can kind of tell in the gloves. Yeah, like the paint's not as like well done. A memory I have on working on the suit was like, as I was working on this suit, same night I was working on this suit was the same uh, night I asked a girl to be my girlfriend and she agreed for some reason. So yeah, that, that suit was, um, yeah, it's a pretty good one, uh, I guess. Okay, the third suit I own is one that old fans of mine, fans, do I have fans, I guess, old viewers of mine have seen. It's probably the sec my second most popular video on my channel. My all new, all different RPC Studio suit. This suit was for a while my old reliable red and blue suit. I like to always have just like an old reliable red and blue suit to put on that's like not too constricting and it's just a plain like dice up suit. Uh, I recommend every co Spider Man cosplayer have, have at least one dice up suit they can just quickly put on and just like, you know go out and like not worrying if it if it got damaged or anything. But this is debatably one of the most expensive Spider-Man suits I've bought. Not like I've made, obviously the ones I've made are more expensive, kind of, technically. But yeah, this is one of the most expensive suits I've bought. It's from the RPC studio. You old viewers have already seen the video on it. And this just brings back memories of like uh, my summer. Um, I wore this. I wore this to to 4th of July and my Halloween video. It's a really good suit. The muscles on it are just amazing. This is by Gunhead Designs. 
And yeah, this suit, uh, this obviously again, this suit will not fit me. If you just look how skinny this suit is and how thick I am now, it's not gonna fit me. Yeah, the RPC Studio does amazing work with their printing and, you know, their sewing. So, and I really need to get another suit from them soon, not just a pattern print, but yeah. Yeah, this suit just brings back memories, like, because I wore it to, like, a 4th of July celebration where I live, and a bunch of people were taking pictures with me in it, and, you know, that was fun and great and tiring. I almost died of heat exhaustion. <laughs> okay, now the next suit was uh, an important one, I think, for this channel. This is my first cosplay, seri cosplay series I did. This one was also one of the longest ones I've ever had to do. Not gonna lie, it turned out terrible. <laughs> There's a lot of parts on it unfinished, and at this point, I was a very unexperienced uh, sewer. I was pretty good at puff painting, but not as good as I am now. And it was also just rushed, and because I wasn't, you know, constantly working on it, and you know, I had, I wanted to wear it on certain dates, and I rushed it, but then I ended up missing those dates anyways. But this suit was very, like, important to my cosplay career because it taught me what I needed to know and what I needed to improve on for my next cosplays you'll see here that are much better. And I have it in this case because I thought, you know, it matched the movie. And it's my Spider-Man Homecoming cosplay, yeah. One of the biggest things on my channel was this cosplay. I put it in this case. This case was originally like my dad's case and then, and then I put random stuff in here over the years I've lived in Korea. And then re most recently it was a bunch of, I had a bunch of stuff that I'd gotten from my ex-girlfriend I put in here. But then I emptied it out for the move because I wanted it. Because you know, Spider-Man Homecoming, he has a suit in the case and I thought, you know, I'd put it in the case too. Okay, so let's take this suit out of the case. And look how huge it is compared to the other suits. I don't know, I think it's because I measured it too well to my body. And like just the paint, oh, just listen to that. That's all the puff paint sticking together. <laughs> God. But yeah, this suit is really sloppily done and really unfinished. All of it, most of it was a rush job. Nothing about it was good, honestly. If you look at all like the puff paint on here closely, it's too big and it's kind of sloppily done. And then like if you look at the blue hex patterns, it's free-handed, so these are smaller and then these are suddenly bigger. None of it, I'm gonna say, is well done. But the best part, honestly, are the shoes that I used. Uh, these are just some old uh, these are just some boxing shoes that I ordered and I cut off most of it and then put the, and just glued it on. It's probably like the best part of it, just the book, like the book, the boot look, the actual boot look. But yeah, this was my first time actually sewing a suit and I picked a really ambitious project. And there are a bunch of points where like, because I didn't really know how to work a sewing machine at this point. And now that I do know, my seams and stuff are much better. Like there are holes everywhere. And like, there are points where the zipper broke, like multiple times I've had a fix. And I sewed my first U-shaped zipper, which is a pain in the ass. The neck is too low. I don't even have an actual mask or gloves for this suit. Like all of it is a mess. It doesn't have a back spider. That's how much it's, unfinished and rushed. And you know, I still wore it around. I wore it around for Halloween 2017. Yeah, 2017. And I also wore it uh, to Comic-Con one year. Yeah, this suit is just a neat reminder for, you know, how to do things and just, you know, brings me back from where I came from. Like, if you look at this piece of crap suit and the suits I'm making now, it's pretty wild how much I've improved just in like a year I did this suit and another suit. This suit, uh, my viewers should also know, it's like the second series I did uh, on this channel for cosplays, is my Iron Spider suit. This was my second time sewing. I did a lot better than I did on that, but there's still some hiccups because I was still learning. And so, yeah, this suit, it's probably one of my better looking ones, cause like, look at that gold shine I got from the gold puff paint. And like these nice armbands that I did. And this is the first time I did a straight zipper uh, on the back. But uh, I came into a little trouble. I cut the neck too short. 
on the pattern. So I ended up having to sew the neck back up and then I couldn't add the zipper in so I added the Velcro system for the neck, which I guess is a little better, but you know, it's still really sloppily done. Um, again, this one was a little more rushed, not really, I guess, but you know, it's still a fantastic looking suit. Again, this pattern is by Brandon Gilbert, uh, one of the first patterns he did, and obviously this suit is not 100% accurate because, you know, just look at it, but I don't know, this suit is still very, like, I wore this to the premiere of Avengers Infinity War. People saw me in there and were going, oh man, that dude's committed. And also, oh man, he's really regretting wearing that suit because he got dusted. And, you know, like from the mask also was very sloppily done, especially in the ends. Like, uh, yeah, just look at that. That's not pretty. But yeah, I've actually been thinking recently of like redoing my iron, the suit but a lot better, and not die sub. But, you know, we're just gonna have to see where life takes me, and, and the states, and whatnot. Cause you never know what's gonna happen. Fourth to last suit. Um, this is uh, one of my other popular videos on my channel. It's my Spider-Man PS4 suit. You can't really tell, cause it's just jumbled right now. Now this replaced my old classic, no, this is the place my uh, blue and red suit to wear just for, as I'm out. And again, designed by Brandon Gilbert. <laughs> I have a lot of Brandon Gilbert suits. And you know, Zentai Zone did an amazing job with this suit. Uh, this one fits my body the best as of right now. This suit is one of my better ones. Like, muscle shading is good, you know, in pictures and stuff. And you know, just the PS4 suits are really good, like, and yeah, I just bought this suit because I couldn't get the game. That was the whole point of it. But it was around, I actually wore this suit to school and God, this is an embarrassing story. I don't know if I told it on this channel or not before, but so I bought this suit around September, got it in October. And in October at my school, this was like 2018, the beginning of the year, it was spirit week for homecoming and one of the days was meme day. So I dressed up as, it's Wednesday, my dudes. It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> Guy, and like he had a Spider-Man suit on and goggles, so I got this suit, I got goggles. I wore sweatpants because, you know, my web shooter was kind of, uh... Yeah, and, um... <laughs> God. This is not a right way to meet someone that has a big impact in your life. But, uh, I was sitting in my history class with a suit on and my goggles, and then someone in my class, well, like, not my class, but someone in my, in the junior class at the time, walks in with a girl. She says, oh yeah, she's in your class now. And I'm just sitting there in front of this cute girl, just in my goggles and a Spider-Man suit going, just like, uh, great. This girl's really cute, I'm dressed up like this. And she would have, and then she ended up being my girlfriend like a month later, and then my ex-girlfriend like three months later. <laughs> oh, good memories. Depression's great, Jesus. Whew, okay, so this next suit was the third series, cosplay series I've done. This is probably the suit I am most proud of that I have ever made. It is my Far From Home suit. You know it, you love it, I love it, even though it doesn't fit me anymore, but this one was probably the best sewn, the best puff painted, the best just looking to look at. And it does have its faults and its mistakes, but it's so well done to me and to other people who see it that it's just so forgivable. I. I did a, already did a video on this, but just look at. Oh yeah, that smells like raisins. That's not a good sign. But yeah, this suit I spent hundreds of hours painting. Like if you look at it here, you can't even tell that it's like textured. But when you look up close, you can really tell just how tiny those fucking dots are, and all these lines, those sons of bitches, and. Gosh, like, I can't help but love this suit, even though it's not 100% accurate. It's, it's just amazing, spectacular, extraordinary. Other words that signify Spider-Man titles. <laughs> so the second to last suit is a suit I haven't really shown off. It was just kind of like a secret project I was doing for last Halloween, uh, but I didn't get to finish it. 
just because life and depression got in the way. But it is a symbiote suit. I really wanted another symbiote suit. I only made one, and I didn't feel like just buying some Zentai Zone or anything. And I had scrap fabric lying around and some a lot of white puff paint lying around. So I thought, you know what? Let's make a symbiote suit. And I did this spider, this front spider, the same way I did the bands and stuff on my uh, Iron Spider suit. That technique, if you want to see a link for that video, go ahead and click up above. But yeah, this suit is really, really incomplete. I made my own custom pattern for this and everything, and I sewed up almost all of it. I just needed the gloves and the mask and like, you know, and the zipper in the back. God, I'm trying to put it on right now just to like, see if it, like... But yeah, so I did this. It was supposed to be like a really simple project, but it turned too elaborate too fast. I wanted to do some different things because I wanted to challenge myself on these suits. And yeah, like, it kind of looks all right. Uh, maybe the pattern thing is a little off, but yeah, this is what it was supposed to look like, sort of. You know, obviously not exactly, but, but yeah, I just never got around to finishing it. Halloween was already done with. So I was just kind of like, hey, you know, Fuck it, I'm just gonna move on to the next suit, which I did. So let me show you that once I finish packing up this. Finally, the last suit I've made, probably one of the best suits I've ever made in my career. And this was for the next holiday after how my background is gone. Uh, this suit I made for Christmas. Um, my One of my teachers asked me if, he, if I can dress up for uh, as Spider-Man for his kids and stuff. Um, cause he ha usually has someone dressed up as Santa Claus, but he thought, hey, you know, since I, he knows me and, you know, I've worked for, with him for like the past, since middle school, uh, he thought, hey, can you do this for me, just like a little favor, and I was like, yeah, yeah, no problem, you know, I've always wanted to dress up, uh, as Spider-Man for, like, Christmas and kids and stuff. So, and I made this suit, it is the Into the Spider-Verse Peter Parker suit, I actually really love all the designs. Uh, of the characters in that movie, and I love the movie as a whole. And I always wanted to do uh, a Peter B. Parker suit, and I finally did it. Uh, I did a whole video on this earlier this year, and you know, this is just a really comfortable suit, honestly. Like, it's all colored fabric. Uh, I'm trying to move into more colored fabric stuff, if you couldn't tell by like the last do. You know, I did a whole video on this you can go and check out and stuff. One update I do have is I kind of ripped off the shoes because I needed them to wear. And it was always temporary, like the shoes were always like temporary put on, uh, but it kind of ruined the bottoms so I can't really wear this suit anymore. You know, this is just like one of my best sewn suits. Then I, again, I did this in like three weeks, I think. Uh, yeah, I did this in like probably like two, three weeks. Still a lot of bumps in it, you know, like the, the neck and like the gloves, but other than that, you know, it's still one of my best suits I've made. And, you know, and this was just another simple suit that I wanted to make and I made it. And yeah, oh yeah, fun fact about this suit. The pic I have a picture, uh, there's a picture of me and like all of my teacher's kids in the yearbook. Yeah, it's now in the yearbook for some odd reason. And my PS4 suit is also in the yearbook now for some odd reason, I don't know why. So that's it for this video. Um, I'm going to be trying to kind of just, I'm, tr I'm going to be trying to make a load of videos for you guys, like uh, just to have ready, I'm going to be shooting for the next couple days, like just shooting some videos when I can and just having them ready to be released uh, whenever, like, because I'm not going to be here on this channel for a while, I haven't been, I've barely been on this channel since this coronavirus thing, or in general, but I'm going to be trying, I promise I'm going to be consistent. Sort of, you know, I have my new series uh, of like, you know, film, like video essays. I've been really wanting to do that for a long time. So hopefully that'll give you guys a little more stuff to watch. And of course I'll have my Spider-Man, custom Spider-Man suit series uh, finished by the end of the summer, probably, hopefully. But yeah, life is just really hectic right now, but I still want to create videos. I still want to make short films. I still want to cosplay all of that stuff. I still want to do. And this is just the simplest way I can do it in my, in my circumstance and everyone else's circumstance. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.